Hi and welcome back again. This is part 6 already of the car AI series. In this part we're going to make the car break. Let's dive into it and get something working. So the first thing we're going to do is make a new texture. This sounds weird but we also want to see that the car is breaking so we will let the rear lights light up. In a models folder there's a cartoon race car with a texture. We select the first one, right click then show in explorer. The first one is the texture of the car. Open this with a photo editor of your choice. You can use Photoshop or Paint.net, it doesn't really matter, as long as you can paint on your texture. At the top left we can see our braking lights, so we quickly select them. Doesn't have to be that great. And then we brighten the red lights. Maybe a little bit more color. So that is really shiny. Then the missing parts we just do it by hand with the brush. And because this isn't a big effect it doesn't have to be that nice. Okay so this will be fine. Then we save this image as a new image. So we just use this name and write breaking behind it. And then save this as a new image. Not overwrite the existing one, but save it as a new one. So we get another texture. Now we can see diffuse breaking over here. If we drag this on our car, we can see that the that it looks like the car is breaking. If we hit Ctrl Z and then Ctrl Y, we can switch between them. So you can really see the effect already. So now that this is done, we can open up our car engine script and do some coding. To test our functions, we're going to make a new variable. This will be a public bool. And call this is breaking. Default is as false. And for the breaking, we also make a new function. And this function will be breaking, just to make things clear. Not the is breaking, but just a new function breaking. Then we're going to make this function, so at the bottom we create a private void called breaking. And here we want to switch our textures. So let's also make some variables for the textures. First one will be a public texture 2D. And let's call this texture normal. And also public texture 2D for the texture breaking and we also want to apply those textures to a render so we also need to drag that in a public render and let's say this will be our car renderer also let's drag that in and this will be your uh, body of the car so drag your body in it because the butter has the car texture then we go down to our braking function and we say if is braking, so if the car is braking, then we say our car render dot material dot main texture equals our texture braking. And else we copy this line and we say texture normal. So if it is braking, the texture of the car will be the texture braking, and if the car is not braking, the texture will be the normal texture. And if we now hit this checkbox that is breaking, we should be able to see the changing of the lights. We know how to set the motor torque because we do that in a drive function. Wheel.motor torque. We can do the same thing for the braking, but I want to brake on the rear wheels and not the front wheels. So let's create two variables for that. Just copy this line and paste it below it, but then we do the RL and RR. And now we need to drag that in. And this will be your colliders again. So the RL goes to RL and RR goes to RR. Now we can use those colliders also. So we write the wheel RL dot brake torque equals our maximum braking torque. 
Oh, I see we don't have that yet. So first let's make the variable. Just write it somewhere. Public float max break torque. And we default this at say 150. And now let's apply this here. So our max break torque. Also do this for your right rear wheel. So our R also needs to get the maximum brake torque. Then another thing we want to do is to disable the braking if you are not braking anymore. So if you are not braking, we want to set the braking torque to zero. Let's see if this is working. So hit play. And let's apply some brakes by clicking the is braking button. And you can see the car slowing down and stopping. But one thing we missed is the front wheels are still spinning. This is because we haven't said that the car doesn't need to give torque if it's braking. So at our drive function, we only check if it's below our maximum speed. And if it is, we apply motor torque to the front wheels. But we also need to check if it is not braking. So we can only apply torque when your car is below the maximum speed and also it needs to check if it is not braking. So we do this by an exclamation mark and then it's braking. Save the script and let's check it again. Also here click the is braking and we can see the car is stopping and the wheels are not spinning anymore. And also the braking lights are active so this part works. So then this is it for this episode. And in the next part we're going to use sensors. So we can avoid obstacles. Thanks for watching this episode. And I'll see you again in the next one.